if you look at last week's spending package, and I worked too hard to get the Police Act in there, was actually holding up the whole Senate to get it in there with promises from some Democrats that we would get it into this week's bill. Now they're balking on that. So you see an anti-law enforcement sentiment. While they might go back to their districts or their states and they say, uh, look, we're all for law enforcement, you got to look at someone's actions rather than their words. And we're not seeing the actions that the Democrats actually support law enforcement. Uh, and this Lake and Riley Act, I mean, had this been enacted, it would have prevented this. This is all about preventing crimes, not uh, remediation after there's a tragedy like losing uh, Lake and Riley and so many others uh, that have been in similar situations from illegal immigration. Uh, this is about those who commit crimes that are here illegally and they do something illegally like shoplifting, theft, burglary. We're going to lock we're going to lock them up, um, and, you know, and we're going to we're going to give them their due process, but we're going to detain them. We're going to require ICE to do that um, because we realize that this is about escalation and they'll go on to commit greater crimes like the tragedy we saw in February in the loss of Lakin. Yeah, Senator, this seems to me again, it just seems so common sense. Um, well, look, you, you ask, you know, 37 Democrats supported this in the House. It passed on uh, on March 7th. So uh, this is a bipartisan bill. This is not uh, uh, this is about keeping people safe, about keeping families safe. And uh, had this passed uh, before and, and if we get it in this in the current spending package uh, and we get this passed, uh, will prevent future tragedies. Yes, yeah, Lake, Lake and Riley would still be with safe us. And th keeping things safe here at home. Senator, can I ask you, does this include, and I've looked at the bill, does it include anybody apprehended while crossing the border illegally? Let's say they're apprehended Look, and Border Patrol says the, that they've got yeah, a, that's let's a, say that's they've got a record. Critical, but this is about once they're here okay. uh, and they are caught doing minor crimes. I mean, they're real crimes, right? But they're shoplifting, larceny, burglary. Uh, if they do that, then you have to detain them. They'll check to say, are they here illegally? And if that's the case, they're going to be detained. Okay. We can't let liberal prosecutors dump them back out on the street. I want to give the audience uh, a taste of, of what your colleagues on the other side of the aisle. This is Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock. Here's what he had to say about the bill on MSNBC. This is smoke and mirrors by people who are not serious. We had a bipartisan piece of legislation in front of us. It had a lot of provisions, some provisions that some folks on my side didn't like. But the only way to get uh, uh, comprehensive immigration reform, the only way to address the current crisis on the border in divided government is on a bipartisan basis. OK, so the bill is smoke and mirrors brought by people that aren't serious. Care to respond to that, Senator? Well, I appreciate the political advice from my colleague from Georgia. However, this is bipartisan. 37 Democrats supported in the House. It's not extreme measures. It, it only protects us here at home and prevents tragedies like we saw. And it is bipartisan. And look, thanks to uh, Senator Katie Britt from Alabama, who did so much work on this. And uh, she's a great colleague to have. Uh, we're both reaching across the aisle to gain more support. But we think we can get bipartisan support in the Senate. Senator, I want to ask you about an amendment of yours that was just blocked. Uh, and again, this doesn't make much sense to me. Just again, this seems so common sense. Um, the amendment would allow an illegal migrant to be deported if they assault a police officer, a firefighter, or any kind of first responder. Do you have an explanation for why something like that is apparently too controversial for Democrats to get on board with? Slightly different issue, same problem. You're not seeing that the Democrats are supporting law enforcement. That's the, this is the party of defund the police. We think that if someone's here illegally, then judges should not have discretion to turn these, or prosecutors to turn these people back out on the street. No discretion, they immediately get deported if they're attacking first responders. It's not, it's the police act, but it's police, it's deputies, it's uh, uh, firefighters, it's EMTs. Those that are that are showing up uh, to make our country safer, yeah. they're, they're, they're in a time of need. And we think if you attack them, you're here illegally, you're out of here. Senator, I know you work closely with your colleague Katie Britt on this thing. Um, and, and again, I hope it, it, it goes through and, and passes in the Senate. Uh, a week ago today, she gave the GOP response after Joe Biden's State of the Union address. And boy, she was she was raked over the coals by the media Saturday Night Live over the weekend. Um, can you tell me how she's doing, what it was like to work with her? You know, she's uh, doing great. Uh, she's optimistic. The Republicans, Democrats are coming here on the Senate floor and supporting her and just saying thanks for stepping up. It's a thankless job. 